Hey guys, welcome back. The topic of this video is minimum spanning tree. Minimum spanning tree has so many practical applications, but before jumping onto that part, let's understand it. And to understand minimum spanning tree, we must know what a spanning tree is. So let's go ahead and get an idea of spanning tree. Well, we all are now familiar with graphs. This is a weighted undetected graph. So the spanning tree of this graph will be a subgraph of this graph that is connected and acyclic and is having all the vertices present in this original graph. So one of the spanning trees of this graph can be this one. So all the vertices are connected and there are no cycles. And as it's a connected and acyclic graph, we call it a tree. Now let's see a few subgraphs of this graph and observe them if they are spanning trees or not. Is this a spanning tree? No, because this vertex 5 is not there in the main component. That's why it's not a spanning tree. Is this a spanning tree? No. Again, it's not a spanning tree because it's not connected. There are two components, one having 1, 2, and 3, and the other having 4, 5, and 6. And these two components are not connected. That's why it's not a spanning tree. Now this one, is this a spanning tree? Again, it's not a spanning tree. It's connected, but it's not a cyclic. Here we are having one cycle. Now this one, is this a spanning tree? Yes, this is a spanning tree because all the vertices are included in the tree and there is no cycle. So this is a spanning tree which is acyclic and all the vertices are connected. That's how the vertices are making this tree. So there's a small point I want to bring your focus on that the number of edges in a spanning tree is always going to be number of vertices minus one. If the graph is having six vertices, then spanning tree is only going to have five edges because that's all we need to connect those six vertices acyclically. And the graph is not bounded to have one single spanning tree. There can be more than one spanning trees present in the graph. So I mentioned it here just because we are going to use this property later on while uh, working on code. So now we know what spanning trees are. Now comes what is a minimum spanning tree. Minimum spanning tree or minimum cost spanning tree is a spanning tree with minimum possible total weight of edges. So while constructing the spanning tree, we do care about the weight of the edges. We choose the ones with minimum weight. So to construct a minimum cost spanning tree. So this one, the total weight of this one is 30. It's minimum we can find from this graph. So it's a minimum spanning tree. All right, now let's talk about where exactly these trees are useful in today's world. MSTs solve so many practical or real life problems. They are used in face detection or image recognition or optic detection technologies where image pixels are taken as vertices and the edges between edges and pixels are weighted by color or intensity differences. So a minimum spanning tree can be constructed by sequentially removing edges with large weights and leaving the remaining edges connecting through all pixels as a tree, thus identifying object through color or intensity differences. MSTs are used in cluster analysis where the long edges can be deleted to get closely connected components. They are used to reduce data storage in sequencing amino acids in a protein. They are used in network designs, whether it's a communication network or electric network or computer network or a road network or any other kind of network. 
So these are a few of the most famous applications of MSDs that we discussed here, but don't forget there are a lot more. So this was all about MSTs. Hope this session made you visualize MSTs and the practical solutions that MSTs provide. From next lecture onwards, we are going to start discussing few of the most famous algorithms to find MST from a given graph.